Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are all having an amazing day. I'd be having a better day if I didn't keep getting lipstick on my teeth. Ugh. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about underrated makeup that you probably haven't heard of, that you are missing, that you need. These are products that are, in my opinion, things that nobody's really talking about, nobody's really mentioning, nobody really knows about, but they need to know about because they are that dang good. I just think that all of these products are honestly, in my opinion, so, so good, so worth the money, except nobody knows about them or nobody cares about them basically. <laughs> so if you're interested in seeing that, then stick around. Now, as always, if you are new here, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and also hit that notification bell. If you don't, you will never know when I upload a new video, even though PS I upload Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, but make sure you hit that notification bell. YouTube's playing it lately. They're not letting you know. You want to know. You want to know. <laughs> All right, first product, we've got a skincare item here. This is a skincare item from MAC. Now, I personally am guilty, 100% guilty of being like, ooh, don't know if I trust skincare from a brand that primarily does makeup. I'm guilty. I've heard amazing things about NARS skincare. Never in a million years would I be like, oh, I'm going to go to NARS for skincare. Like, it's just kind of, I don't know. It's kind of how I'm hardwired. And it's wrong. Like, so many of these makeup brands make incredible skincare. And this is a perfect example of that. So this is the MAC Mineralizer Volcanic Ash Exfoliator. Honestly, and I mean, you guys know I am an exfoliation junkie. Like, I can never get enough exfoliation. I absolutely love it. I love really freshening up and smoothing out the skin before I apply foundation because I've got textured skin, right? This stuff is incredible. It is so textured to the point where you really do need to go in a little bit more gently than a lot of other scrubs because you probably might like rub your skin raw. It's amazing. Probably a bit hard to see like the texture and the consistency. It does have volcanic ash in it like the name says. It is like gritty black mud. I absolutely love this stuff. So you basically apply it, you know, all over the face. You scrub it. Quite often I'll even just let it sit there for like five to 10 minutes. Your skin feels so incredibly clarified afterwards. It feels amazing, so smooth for foundation. Like, I love this stuff. Oh, it looks kind of gross on there, doesn't it? Whoa. Feels like it's also got salt in it as well. Oh, and we got it under the nails. Cute. Honestly, if you're after a really good exfoliator, haven't found one that you're in love with, haven't found one that really smooths your skin as much as you want, check out this guy. Nobody knows about it. Nobody's talking about it. She's underrated and she's really, really good. All right, next up, I've got a blush from Ciate. And I feel like I've used this in a lot of videos on my channel, but like quite a while ago. Um, nobody ever talks about Ciate blushes. It's got like a mosaic-y sort of situation in the pan. Um, this is the shade Date Night. Honestly, all of the colors are gorgeous. I wouldn't even, you know, it's not just this one. It's so super soft and smooth and it adds like color and like a flush to the cheeks, but without adding powderiness or texture. You know how sometimes you put on like a blush or even a bronzer or a highlighter and all of a sudden your cheek looks a lot more textured than it kind of did before. You will not get that at all with this blush. It kind of looks like someone's like airbrushed a little bit of life back into your face if that makes sense it's also very easy to apply you can layer it you know you don't put like a little bit on your brush and then go in and then go oh my gosh i have to wipe off my foundation and start again like it's just really beautiful natural easy to work with formula and like i said like literally I've never in my life seen anybody talk about any Ciate blushes. Like, have you? Like, I don't feel like it's like a brand that everyone sort of hears and knows about. Um, they've done a couple of eyeshadow palettes. I know that much. Um, they've got some nail polish. But as far as I'm concerned, like their blushes, life-changing. Check it out. Like, just trust me, check it out. You'll be really surprised by how good this is. And you'll also be like, dang, I've never heard of that before. <laughs> Next up, I've got the Hula Quickie Contour Stick. So this one is by Benefit. Everybody talks about the Benefit Hula Bronzer. It's a beautiful product. Like I myself, totally in love with that product. I can totally vouch for it. This here, absolute unsung hero from Benefit. Absolute unsung hero. So this is a cream contour stick, but it's very different to any other cream contour sticks I've ever used. It is so soft and lightweight. It's such a beautiful color. It nearly feels kind of like a mousse kind of a formula, but it blends out so well and it blends out into a complete powdery finish. Like I wish that you could feel the back of my hand here, 100% velvet. There is no stickiness, there's no greasiness. It's not like, you know how a lot of cream bronzers you're like, oh, like it's gonna make me oily and it's just in three hours I'm gonna look like a hot mess. Honestly, it does not happen with this product at all. It turns completely to powder. Like that feels like I've literally put a matte setting powder on my hand. It's amazing and it's so easy to blend and apply. It's so quick. I mean, obviously quickie contour stick. 
We get it. But like if you're running out the door, if you're like, oh gosh, I look a little pasty, I look a little pale or whatever it may be, you want to add a little bit of color to your face, this is the go-to. Just go bang, bang, maybe a little bit across the forehead, a brush, a sponge, whatever, even your fingers. Two seconds, all of a sudden you look bronzed and glowy. And like I said, powdery, beautiful powdery finish. It's matte lasts all day. Probably in my opinion, the best cream contour or bronzing stick on the market, except nobody talks about it. And you probably didn't even, you probably didn't even know it existed. You need to know, you need to know. All right, next up I've got nail polish. Nail polish isn't something that I talk about very often, but I do get a lot of questions about what is on my nails. These are from Sally Hansen. Um, they're not a new release. They're a very old product, probably from maybe back in the beginning when the brand started. They are the Sally Hansen Hard As Nails Extreme where now colors. <laughs> I do not get acrylic nails. I do not get gel nails. I do not get shellac. I don't get, I don't know. What are that? What's that other one? C, C and S, S, C and D, S and S, S and S. <laughs> I'm a nail painter and I'm fairly passionate and also fairly picky about my nail polish. I feel like I've tried everything out there. Probably sounds like I'm exaggerating. I'm really not. I'm really not exaggerating. These are absolutely amazing and totally unsung heroes of Sally Hansen. Like again, nobody talks about them. Nobody really seems to care about them, but they're one of the best products that they have. For starters, really, really good for chips. Obviously hard as nails. I can get at least a good week out of these, which for me is fairly uncommon with my nails, but I can get a really like a decent week out of these. They're also so cheap. Like even in Australia, they're only a couple of dollars. I feel like I get mine from Chemist Warehouse. Um, they're usually like, three or four dollars they're so affordable the color range is amazing it's a really really good thick pigmented formula so i'm wearing this white one on my nails now do you know how hard it is to find a white nail polish that you don't have to put 10 coats on like they're always streaky they're always like they're just not opaque enough they're not deep enough they're not rich enough two coats and it's literally like i've had gel nails like i'm not even kidding you these this formula is amazing so i've got the shade the white one i've got is 139 white on this purple i've got it on my toes I'm not gonna show you my toes. No one wants to say that. Um, this one is Lacy Lilac. I get questions about this color all the time. A couple of dollars, I'm telling ya. And then this one here is First Blush. This is like a pinky kind of a color. I feel like everyone always talks about like their Argan Oil range or their Miracle Gel range. These are hidden like right down the bottom of the gondola. Nobody knows about them. Nobody talks about them. But they're honestly the best nail polishes that Sally Hansen does totally recommend and then finally i've got a lip mask so this is the bite beauty agave is it agave or agave 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 i don't know <laughs> it is their lip mask and it is absolutely phenomenal it comes in one of these like sort of squeezy tubes containers which i actually really really like and then at the top of the lid um you've got one of like those spiky things and you basically pierce the foil and then it comes out it is a very very like if it's cold where you are sometimes it's really difficult to get it to push out because it is so so thick this stuff is an absolute lifesaver for your lips i do you know occasionally from time to time get very very dry lips and i like to wear like lip masks to sleep and things like that it is so thick oh, I feel like that doesn't sound good though like it's thick to the point where it will not go anywhere you know how sometimes you feel like you put like a lip balm on or something and then five minutes later it's gone and your lips are stinging and dry again and you're basically back at square one doesn't happen with this like it lasts really really well on the lips but at the same time it doesn't feel heavy like it's thick but not heavy Hopefully that makes sense. Doesn't have a gross taste to it. You can wear it during the day. You can wear it underneath lipstick or on top of lipstick. It's just so hydrating, so moisturizing, so incredible. And pop it on your lips before you go to bed at night, like wear it as a mask. Promise you, if you go to bed, like even to the point, like you know how sometimes you get like a bit of a rash happening on the skin around, if your lips are really dry and you're kind of licking them because you know, you're trying to hydrate them and then it just, it ends up like a hot mess. Like if, if you're in that situation, pop a little bit of this on your lips before you go to sleep. In the morning, it's like a whole new pair of lips. Like this stuff's absolutely amazing. And I've never heard anybody talk about it. I've never heard anyone mention it. I've never seen it on social media. I've never like been in like a Sephora and been like, ooh, I'm, go I'm gonna like pick that one up. It's a product that no one really cares about, if that makes sense. That sounds terrible. I mean, I'm sure there are a lot of people that do, but I feel like it deserves a lot more love because again, it is a total unsung hero of the brand. Um, I will be repurchasing, repurchasing, repurchasing forever. It is so nice. So there you go, guys. That is a bunch of really, really underrated makeup products that, in my opinion, like, I just feel like these are life-saving. Like, I honestly just feel like they are some of the absolute best products out there. But like I said, 
no one seems to care. Please let me know if you enjoyed this video and I'll be sure to do more of them. I've got a whole lot of other products where these ones came from, you know, just like those products that no one, you know, you randomly stumble across them in your life somehow and you're like, damn, how did I never know about this? So let me know if you enjoyed this video and I'll be sure to do more of them in the future. Uh, leave me a comment, give the video a thumbs up, um, just anything like that. Just let me know how you feel. And yes, I hope it was helpful. And also if you've got any unsung heroes that I need to know about, please put them in the comment section down below. Love knowing what you guys are obsessed with and we can all help each other. All right guys, I love you so, so much and I will catch you all in my next video. Bye.